today we're going to be looking at plan and what I'm doing with it. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Casalistic and hi to my new subscribers, thank you for joining me. Um, so today we're looking at plan and what I will be doing with it. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, plan is basically plastic yarn. It's yarn made out of plastic carrier bags that we get from supermarkets and shops. Um, so you can make it into a form of yarn um, and work with it. So I had a huge, and I do mean huge, amount of plastic carrier bags um, that have accumulated over the last two, three years. I didn't really know what to do with them. I didn't want to just chuck them away because they're not recyclable in my area. Um, so I've decided to make use of it. So I've actually used some of this. This was even bigger when I started. Um, so as you can see, it's absolutely enormous. Um, it give you some sort of idea of how big. That's a 100 gram ball of yarn. And that's how big it is in comparison absolutely enormous obviously it's not heavy it's just more awkward than anything um, so um, that's what plastic yarn looks like um, it's made out of loops and knotted together so I don't know if you can see there's a there's a knot there okay um, so it's basically you use both parts of the loop um, so what I'm doing with this, um, for those of you that did watch my uh, news uh, crafty goals, resolutions, whatever you want to call them, goals for the year, uh, one of my goals was to um, make a sleeping mat from the homeless, I think. I think it was one of my goals. I'm sure it was one of my goals. Um, anyway, so I have actually made a start. Um, so I've done a chain of 63... Uh, chains uh, obviously plus one for a turn, turn in chain um, that's what I've done when the camera decides to focus there we go uh, so that's, this is what I've done so far so as you can see it's quite wide um, I've done it wide for a reason um, those of you who've been watching for a, a while will know that uh, my friend that I care for had been homeless for a period of two years um, and lived on the streets of Cambridge for that time um, so I've learnt quite a lot about what it's really like to be on the streets um, so the reason I've made it wider um, a is to give a person a bigger surface area obviously to keep the things off the ground to help keep it dry because being plastic obviously if the ground's wet that will help keep their stuff dry but also um, quite often you make friends on the streets and you watch each other's backs um, and uh, so I've made it wide enough that potentially two people could, you know, if they were snuggled up, could actually lay side by side. So it could potentially benefit two people rather than just one. Um, so that's how far I've got with it. Like I say, I've only done two, three. I'm on my fourth row. I'm halfway through the, well, not that quarter of the way through the fourth row. Um, I'm using the biggest hook that I had, um, which actually came free with a magazine. It's a bamboo hook and it's a 12 millimeter. Uh, so nothing terribly exciting about it. I think it came with Inside Crochet Magazine, I think. Uh, yeah. So that's what I've done so far. So this will be, um, obviously this is a work in progress. This will be something to obviously share when I'm coming up. Um, for those of you that may be interested in making plan, um, or maybe even making a sleeping mat, there are various um, tutorials on YouTube about it um, the one that I found most useful because it were it, it showed you how to make the plan and make a, a bedroll sort of sleeping mat for the homeless um, was by a YouTube channel oh, sorry, I've had to put it on my tablet so that I can um, get it correct it's by a channel called Fox 8 WGHP um, so I will obviously put a link to that down in the description box um, but I just thought it would be something different to show you. Um, all my carry bags are all one colour at the moment. Um, I don't know if this ball, it's going to be interesting to see whether this ball, this enormous 
ginormous ball is going to be big enough um, to do a whole a whole mat. I'm, I'm hoping it will. Um, I'm planning on making it about between six foot and six foot five um, long, long ways. Um, and like I say, I've done a chain of uh, 63 uh, width ways plus one for a turning chain. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether I can actually get to the six foot, six foot five, because obviously I want it to be the length of somebody. Um, you know, could, I don't know if it's going to a man or woman, so obviously sort of height wise it does matter. Um, and I am planning to put carry candle, candle? <laughs> Not a candle, a carry handle <laughs> um, on it, and also obviously some ties on it, providing I've got enough uh, plan left. Um, obviously, as the weeks and months go by, I'm probably going to accumulate more carrier bags, we all do. Um, it's mainly with the online delivery shopping that I seem to accumulate them because it's easier to pay 40p and get as you know get everything put in the carry bag so all I've got to do is grab it and move it inside the door uh, whereas if you've got them in the crates and you've got to pick every bit out and the delivery drivers tend to tart and half and yeah <laughs> but um, I have to say delivery drivers we have not normally pretty good but um, yeah so that's where I tend to get most of my carry bags so that probably is something that obviously uh, I will continue to do um, the only thing I would say um, I did find, and you can probably see like there, it's like a little bit rucked, um, is to do the, the start, the, basically the starting chain, it was very difficult because I've never worked a plan before either, it was very difficult to get my stitches exactly the same size and to keep it all straight and it has curved a little bit. Um, as I've started working into the rows it then got easier to work with. Um, obviously there is a little bit of give in it but it's not as doesn't have as much give as yarn um, obviously it's a bit uh, harder to work with um, all the tutorials that I found online for making sleeping beds worked with single crochets but I've decided to go with half double crochets I just felt that they would be a bit stronger um, and it would give a bit more padding and still have that close uh, closed stitch um, so I'm just going to see, which I'll do a close up and see if the camera will focus. So that's basically what it's uh, looking at. For those in the UK, you can probably guess where I get a lot of my shopping from. I do go to other supermarkets, uh, but I tend to take, I tend to physically go there and I use re reusable bags. So please don't have a go at me about wrecking the environment um, because I do use reusable bags as well. Um, and the reason I've got these is basically so that I can benefit, I can recycle and benefit somebody that is on the streets who has nothing. And my friend actually said to me the other day, where were you when I needed you? Um, I could have done with one of those when I was on the streets, but I didn't actually, we'd lost contact at that point, so I didn't actually know where she was or uh, that she was even on the streets, otherwise I would have done something about it. But uh, that's a whole other story. Um, but yes, yeah, so I mean it's pretty pretty simple um, pattern. Well, I'm just doing straight backwards and forwards. Um, I'm planning to then do a single crochet board around the edge. Might go around it twice, depending on what I feel it needs, and then just add a handle and some ties. Um, so obviously I'll go into that more when I do an update on it. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. It's harder to crochet with so it's going to be very much a stop start um, project so my finger did get a little bit sore last night doing it but on the whole I've quite enjoyed it um, it took me about the equivalent of three solid days um, to make up this it's all coming undone now because I'm fiddling with it um, this enormous ball of um, plan so it's, it's about three solid days so it's about a week of evenings um, doing that so um, I'm hoping that it's going to be enough. Probably sods law, it probably won't be, but uh, we will see. So that's uh, that's another work in progress that I've started. Um, I'm going through a bit of a phase, I'm sure you all go through this as well, where uh, I just, I've got so many ideas and so many things I want to try and, you know, work with and start and 
I'm kind of flitting from project to project at the moment which I know can be a little bit lethal because you end up with so many projects you get overwhelmed so I'm trying to rein myself in a little bit but I got so excited about this one um, there is I have uh, I have been aware that there have been a lot of homeless in my town um, the numbers have gone up and our town council has very kindly banned them all uh, given the maps and has banned all the homeless from the town centre so they can't sleep in shop doorways and so forth where there's CCTV that would protect them um, they have now been pushed out uh, well over a mile out of town so um, for those of you that are in Bury, they've been pushed out as far as Tesco's so um, I'm pretty appalled with my town council um, unfortunately I can't do anything but change my vote uh, but obviously I have to wait for the elections to come around so um, it's pretty disgusting how they've been treated but there is um, a group I found um, of local people um, who are actually in a neighbouring town called Mildenhall who have actually been going out on Sundays and actually giving out hot food and um, uh, packed lunches as well so that they can keep going for a couple of days um, they're giving out coats and hats and scarves I have offered my services hats and scarves at the moment they're okay but um, so I've just asked them to keep me in mind as and when they need things so I'm hoping that when I finish this I can then offer that to that group and that will actually benefit somebody in my hometown um, because they're by the grace of God go I and you never know if it's ever going to be you they say don't they that I think it's what we, most people are one or two paychecks away from being homeless themselves so um, I'm very thankful that I'm not and I'm very thankful that my friend's not anymore and uh, so I'm hoping that this will go to I could say somebody that is homeless in my hometown um, if they don't want it then I will see if a charity like Woolly Hugs can make use of it um, and if not then I will search and see if somewhere like the Salvation Army might be able to make use of it because um, I know they do quite a lot for the homeless so um, that's kind of my th three stages of plans of action of where I could send it um, yeah so I'll see how I get on with it um, I think the hardest job was actually making the plan uh, like I say it took quite a while but um, yeah actually crocheting it's not too bad it's just a different because it's different texture and different stretch in it it's taken a little while to get used to it but once you get going it gets a lot easier it's just a starting chain I found a bit of a nightmare um, trying to get my stitches even was near enough impossible um, just because you're trying to work out how to hold it all with the tension and stuff because uh, obviously it's a lot thicker than normal yarn so um, so that's it uh, it's kind of a brief one but uh, I hope you found that interesting at least uh, like I say it is a work in progress so uh, probably the next update will either be when I'm halfway through or maybe even finished depending on how quickly I do it um, yeah so that's it plan in the making uh, so that's it so uh, I hope you're all well um, I'm going to be recording uh, at least three videos today and putting them up uh, the reason being is I'm having to work ahead of time um, my time's very short as a carer at the minute um, my friend's birthday is coming up uh, next Monday and mine is the following Friday um, so obviously um, this week there's a lot of preparation and stuff to be done wrapping presents that kind of thing um, which is going to be obviously extra workload and obviously next week we're going to be celebrating so I'm hoping um, to try and get a few videos up to sort of take me through round about to up till my birthday um, it may not stretch quite that far but uh, that's the kind of plan of action um, so the next video will be a scrap blanket uh, the one after that will be a video um, sharing the yarn that uh, Kim from Blue Chair of 82 has sent me um, and I also have to record a video for a gift that I've made for a friend in Malaysia so that one will be pre-recorded but won't be put up straight away until I know that she's received it so um, that may be a few weeks before that one can go up so um, so you've definitely got uh, two more videos to come uh, and then depending on what I've worked on during the week <laughs> uh, yeah so that's it uh, like I say next video will be a scrap gown so stay tuned for that um, so in the meantime oh and I want to say thank you all for telling me what you've been making I've absolutely 
loved um, reading all the things you've been making. It's been absolutely wonderful. All the ideas and stuff. It's given me loads of ideas and stuff. <laughs> I've got to calm myself down, rein myself in. <laughs> But it's been really interesting to see what you're all making and stuff. So um, thank you for sharing. Um, you know, please continue to do that because I, I do love hearing from you and sharing with you. Um, I do apologise if I'm a little bit slow uh, commenting back on comments. Um, I'm hoping to do a big reply um, the day I'm not recording this, which is Tuesday, the 24th of January I'm recording. So um, I'm hoping to catch up with a lot of the comments then. Um, so I do apologise if I'm a little bit slow, it's not because I don't care, I do see them as they come in, um, it's just juggling time and sometimes it slips my mind if I've already read it and I think I've replied and then I haven't and you know life gets in the way um, but I promise I do always reply to my comments even if it takes me a few days to get back to you. So uh, until next time uh, remember to stay well, happy crafting and remember to stay true to yourself. Bye.